it it has good alignment and this is the finers with a good amount of the translucency um, so the 10 11 unit cases is the pretty complicated so I would like to share with you guys so what I do the here first diagnosis with the um, study model okay so that's the key diagnosis from the here usually this is guide I can make the better here's the midline here's the one central right okay so here's the lateral and then here's another K9. You can change it here, should be okay. Yeah, that's good. So which is Dr. Prepit, all right? So Dr. Prepit, so like I said, central is here. So you have to measure what is the thickness from this in here. I would say six, seven millimeter right now. So once you set up after prep, okay, just took it out. So this is a preliminary wax out. So you have to see drawing the line okay drawing the line this is a good shot drawing the line about the this between eight and nine eight and nine so same same contour you have to fabricate it you see the side view this is a metal ceramic okay so I have to make a little height of contour in between here okay and um, this height of contour however so I can grind down from the incisor which is the, is fat compared to this this is a minimum thickness I would say four tenths a millimeter all right so just move it like here yes so metal ceramic you see the contour okay that's eight and nine first here you add it I like kind of sticky wax which is the it's not fragile by using the this okay there's no sponsorship here all right so you check the eight and nine first, okay? So I want good embrasure in between eight and nine, nice. And also I have to go to the lateral. You all the time draw it, draw it, okay, K9. You see the central, okay? Then I know the size of the tooth. So lateral here, so I have to cut it back here. More, open. Between metal ceramic, between 6 and 11, K9 to lateral, I need a way open here. Then I can make more individual looking. Move on to K9 premolar. So that's the size I can build up. You see the deep, nice. Okay, deep, nice. I think this is too long. This is a final. Okay, so I have to cut it. I don't need that much. So I cut it, that area. Right. Okay. Now, members, I have to set the the length compared to I measure. So eight and nine, same length. And also, you have to see the alignment. What do you mean alignment? Alignment is occlusion, occlusion, harmony from the occlusion view. Okay, you cannot make out, so central, central, lateral, canine. Okay, so I like this, I like this. When you have a sticking out, then you have to control the, the facial thickness, okay? So here is the vertical, okay? Central, here is the, here is the, uh, I'm sorry, here is the horizontal, here is the vertical. Take a look at it. So you keep 
add here just a little bit longer just like matching this compared to what I achieving for so I like this okay so I want to make it a little bit thick, thick why because I support to rocking so don't worry about it if it thinks you know metal showing I usually I polish over there so nobody going to see the back side. So then I can open more facial area. Okay. So keep moving on to incisor lengths compared to the facial gingiva, just like that. Okay, I like this. Okay, horizontally is good. Just make sure the horizontal keep horizontally look at look at it. So K9 to K9. Gotta be right. So here is longer, here is shorter. So to me, this is too long. So I cut it just a little bit. Then I can match it with the Jason T's. So when they have a patient smile, so I can get the nice six unit smile design. I don't want to make it too long. I don't want to make it too short because metal ceramic is easily cracked. So you have to add the major corner like this. Okay. K9, so I'm going to trim a little bit more. And then here's the facial bulkness. This is good. Open it. So if everything's a little bit issue, so add here. We do not have any problem with this area to make our show. Same as here, no problem. And then here, so all engaged together, okay? And then I, my frame design is not cracking or rocking, okay? Like this. So stairs, I have to add just a little bit. So once you set up the central, once you set up the central, and then go by to lateral, okay? Lateral, okay? And then once you go to the lateral, and then go to K9, which is still high, so I can cut it. Okay, and then you can mount it with the, uh, whatever you have, the cases. It was okay. So whenever you check this, then you can see. So I have to add a little bit more longer here. Add a little bit more longer, and then slightly add more here too because I was wrong. I using by hand it was not good. And I'm trying to mount it so I can add more longer so I can get the horizontally is correct from the six through eleven. Okay. And then the vertical midline, so you can check the with this. Usually we mounting just like that. So this is the cross mounting. There one is the final. But remember, so I have to make better than this. You see the K9 uh, pre molar, okay? So this is side view. Okay, this is side view. Now I can do with here. Just like more longer, like I said, so here slightly longer, and here too. And good to go to we can, right? So we can uh, do casting. If I don't have any room for that, then I can make some, you know, uh, metal linger. So probably I can recommend to, if I don't have any room, that bite is not necessary. So I'm going to open a little bit vertical dimension. So then I can add here a little bit more. That's another, you know, um, guideline from the dentist because this one already uh, won it. One, one dentition and then erupted. Everything, you know, ruined it. Once I set up the full mouth cases, so I have to guide them. So they have to put here, if I open it, so they can put some acrylic or temporary so we can maintain but only one contact. Think about it, all 11, 10 contact so I can finish it. Also here, so I have to make thin as possible. Why? This area I have to building, either partial or implant. So I cannot make the higher here, make the thin as possible here, then I can make the good occlusion scheme. All right, so after we test it, the metal, and then we just fit it, all spling together. And then the from the wax up with specific design about the, the joint thicker, everything thicker, right? Okay, now second, make the good alignment. Okay, here's the minimum thickness, and then match with the pony. Lateral trying to match it. 
canine trying to match it, incisor length trying to match it, gingival trying to match it, but same thickness, okay, same little bit reduce it, good. And then here's the open it, and then this is the final metal work. Now, what we're going to do, we're trying to cat, um, sandblast it, and then we're degassing, and then put it in the opaque, and then finalize it. All right. Okay, so after it builds up, match the 8 and 9 from the height of the contour. Then it goes through the kind of rear, possibly to move with the pink. Then here is more wider than the other, so it's trying to bring it in. It's like a level matching it. Body portion. Same thing, we're trying to match both of the radar. K9, similar. Same thing, kind of contour. So that one's a good guideline, which is just more navigation. Match it as much as possible. Okay. Now in those areas we are trying to grinding, especially in greater areas. More individual looking in between two. Okay, this is the final, it's a four mouse cases. This is from the beginning, to, as I show you guys regarding the design about the wax design. 
with the incisor embrasure, especially canine. And then I made this better vocal contour, the lingual support, slightly lack of room here, but it's okay too. We don't have to reduce the reduction coping here. And then we can open the vertical, vertical dimensions a little bit. That's good alignment. And this is the finers with a good amount of the translucency. And then make the, it look like more um, like lifelike restorations. It's a full mouse metal ceramic, just finished it. All right. Subscribe to Luke Kong's Patreon for ongoing training for dental technicians, lab owners, and aspiring lab owners, as well as education from a lab side for dentists. For just $25 a month, you can train with Luke online via live video, live chat, Q&A sessions, and ongoing dialogues on Patreon. Additionally, dentists can get valuable information from a lab side perspective on live ongoing cases that Luke Kong is presently working on in his laboratory. Subscribe today.